Hi folks, welcome to the channel. My name's Colin, call sign MM0OPX. And this video is an overview of the Peak Atlas LCR45. Now what's inside here is an LCR uh, meter um, with LCR impedance measurement. Now, I bought this for a, actually for an antenna project primarily, but, um, but I'm quite sure I'm going to have lots of uses going forward. So let's, let's open it up. This is how it gets delivered. Obviously I've used it, but this is how it gets delivered. Um, it's quite a good little box. You get a very detailed manual from it. Lift this up here. And it's got this kind of quite cool system here, how it they actually secure it. I actually thought when I opened this up, first thing I did was was I took these screws out and then I discovered that this is actually a spare battery. So extremely cool that they actually give you a spare battery. Um, and it's a, it's a it's a little 12 volt battery I think a GP23A right so let's put that to the side so there's the meter there itself and before we get to that today I've not actually used this it today I actually received this this the cardboard box really wasn't um, much cop not for taking it continually in and out so I've got this little carry case so this is going to be really, really good. Um, the unit itself, I'm not going to say it's the cheapest on the market, um, but it's certainly not what I what I consider uh, expensive. Um, I had purchased this actually through eBay. I found the cheapest price on eBay, and then for some reason eBay were giving me an additional discount of 10%. So with that discount, I had this delivered to me for £87. So that's probably just... $110 um, US, something like that. I believe the recommended retail price is £100. I'll put a link in the description um, for this on the uh, Peaks uh, website, but there's lots of lots of resellers this, and I'm sure whatever country you're in, um, they'll have that. Um, it comes all assembled. Um, the cable's actually fixed right into the unit, but you can remove these um, probes and buy new ones. And these just these little hooks here. Um, the unit itself is calibrated, but it doesn't come with a calibration certificate. If you want the calibration certificate, you can pay a little bit more. Um, but for what I'm doing, it's not lab stuff, so that's that's fine. Um, but when you start it on, it will tell you, uh, I think it's when it's um, calibrated or when it actually expires. So that's good to know that um, it's been calibrated with the leads. And I think there is a calibration procedure you can do um, and the user guide. Now, um, so LCR meter, so what's it for? Um, so it's for measuring um, capacitance of a capacitor um, or inductance of an inductor. Um, so obviously um, um, inductance is me measured in Henry's and capacitance is, is me measured in Farad's. And it's, see, it's quite a, quite a simple user interface, this. Um, so before we actually um, show you my intended design let's let's actually take a couple of measurements so we'll, we'll turn it on first so it turns on and it's actually um it's actually already automatic on the capacitor so we're just we're just going to leave it there and i've actually got some capacitors here these are 220 puff uh, capacitors i bought these for an end fed half wave um antenna project so basically if you put two of these um two of these in parallel then you'll get 110 puff um, so, because you can't, um, well, I've certainly not seen them off the off the shelf. 110 puff capacitor. Um, right. So, when you buy capacitors, they came with they come with a specified tolerance. And some of these, especially these ones, these are plus or minus 20 percent. So, if you think on 220, well, that's what's that 40 puff difference. So you could be well out. Um, so having this little gauge you're actually able to check and know what you're actually going to be putting in your project. So if we just connect up the capacitor, like so. So there we go. Can we see that on the screen? Yep. So there's 209.5 puff. So it's about 10 and a bit puff out. Check another one. I won't go through these all. But it's nice to know. There you go, 214. 
So these are actually not too um, too bad, pretty consistent. There you go, that one's a little bit down as well, but it's good to know um, what you're actually working with. Let's put those to the side. Um, inductors. Um, well, this is just a piece of 16 gauge enameled uh, copper wire. I've actually cleaned off the ends so we could get um, we can get a measurement. Um, and if I could remember how to do this, so if I hit on in menu, press it and hold it. See, it's got select LCR mode automatic, so you can actually just leave it on automatic, and it'll automatically detect between capacitance or a capacitor and an inductor. So just going to press it again and hold it. things I don't want to do that, I want to just go back, right, push this and hold this again, automatic, and there we go, not didn't have much luck here, there we go, there we go, you just press it again. So there we go, LCR mode, so that's, that's it, selected on inductance. Uh, I've not actually used this for a couple of weeks, so we'll just hit enter. And it's got a frequency, and I'm not going to lie to you, um, you can you can actually select that in the in the book, you can think it's, yeah, it's got a test frequency, DC 1 kilohertz, 15 kilohertz, and 200 kilohertz, I'll just leave, leave it on auto. Um, so anyway, we go. So there we go. There's our inductor. So it's you could just see it's you get this just because it's not reading anything. So what I'll do is I'll actually connect up and see if we're getting any inductance with this wire as it is in a loop or a horseshoe. So there you go. That's quite interesting. So right away, we just with that loop, we're getting. 0.48 microhenries of inductance. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wind a little core with this wire. So I'm just going to take this um, pen and let's just wind a few turns. Let me just do the whole thing actually. Now there's lots of online calculators. If if you don't have an LCR meter, um, you can actually go on a lot of online calculators and you can tell it the wire, the diameter, and it'll give you a predicted inductance. So there we go. So there's a a little air inductor. So let's see what the difference is now. Oops. There you go, 0 0.66 microhenries, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, so there we go. So you could see if we probably, if we spread this out, do you see how that's, that's getting lower? As I spread, there you go, it's getting lower and lower. There you go. So there's an example of inductor measurement. Really, really easy. Now, I want to show you a worked example. So I'll just put that to the side for a minute. So this is this is actually a screenshot from a program called Sim NEC by AE6TY. Now, my friend Justin, uh, Kilo Golf 2, Romeo Golf, um, I actually seen him use this for the first time on his YouTube channel and he was needing to make a little L match network for his phase verticals and when I seen that tool I thought I need to keep a note of that because I might need that one day and it turns out that I did. So I have another project that I'm working on and it's a, it's a vertical antenna and basically the SWR on the antenna isn't where I want it to be, it's about two and a half to one could use an ATU but no I want to get it right and I want to match it at the feed point. So I use my um, rig expert analyzer 
and these are the parameters that the rig expert told me that there was on, on the wire. So it had a resistance, so this is the real part, 18.4 amps, and I had a, had a reactance, the imaginary part, at 1.51. It's close to zero. Um, the frequency that we're working with, because you've got to input that, was 3.6 megahertz. That's what I've put in, because it will vary. So basically, what you can actually do is, below this, there's loads of um, components. So basically, you can you can drag up an LC network, and it'll do it automatically. But I actually dragged up the individual components. So I dragged up an inductor, and I dragged up a capacitor. And here, there's actually a Smith chart. So basically... You can actually change these figures and it will show you uh, on the Smith chart where it goes to 50 ohms and zero reactance. So I've basically done that um, and these are the two values. So I need 1.007 microhenries of inductance and I need 1.157 nanofarads of capacitance. And if I do that, it's going to give me an SWR of 1.009. Now, in real life, if that's 1.2 or 1.3 to 1, I don't care. To actually get these figures as as close to this is going to be very difficult without putting a lot of work in. So I just want to get it pretty close. So what I've actually done, so this is actually the antenna itself. And you can see that I've actually created a an air core, much like I've just shown you there. So this is to get to generate about one uh, micro Henry, and then obviously there's there's uh, two capacitors in there in parallel to generate roughly the 1.15 uh, nanofarad of capacitance. Now you can see there's kind of gunky stuff on here. This is actually just super glue because I wanted I needed to where I had it. I needed to keep them basically as close together. So basically, once I got the uh, the inductance I needed, I've just put some super glue in them just to hold them there. But that's it's not going anywhere. So what we'll do is we'll get a little LCR meter and I'll actually give that a little check. So I checked them before they went in and they didn't change. So they go, there's, there's our inductor. Hopefully you can see that. What we'll do is... sure if I can... If you can just touch that on there. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. That is absolutely almost spot on. That's 1.1 micro Henry or just over. So that's almost exactly where I need it to be. Excuse me, this is a drink. So that's our inductance sorted out for this matching network. Back to the capacitance again, let's check that. Enter. Just automatic frequency, there we go. So let's just hook this on. These hooks are really, really good that's on these probes. So there we've got 1.110111 nanofarad. And if we look at on what we need on here. So this is almost spot on. Um, and this, so that's said 1.11, so it's slightly low. Um, but what you can actually do is, and what I did was I actually put these figures actually on the SIM NEC, and basically it was like 1.1 SWR. So, you know, that's going to be good enough, certainly for what I need. So there we are. That's just a little quick rundown of the Peak Atlas. LCR 45, um, you know, not a lot I can say about it. I'm going to learn a lot more um, as I use it, but primarily for my use at the minute, it's going to be uh, checking, um, certainly making um, uh, LC, LC matching networks. Um, inside here, this is a little, inf if, uh, this is actually a 64 to 1 infed uh, transformer. And I put a 100 puff uh, capacitor in it. And the ones that I took out the packet, some were uh, 90, 
Some were 95, and I actually got one that was almost right on 100, so I know what I've put in here. And I've got a 49 to 1 in fed uh, half wave transformer in here, and I did the same with that, so they're both pretty well matched. So I've now got a 49 to 1 and a 64 to 1 with the correct um, capacitor inside. So, yeah, so there we are. Um, do I recommend it? Absolutely, 100%. Um, I think this would be a great investment if you're looking for an LCR meter. There is cheaper ones out there. Um, you get these one in the, the blue. I think it's like a blue box. I don't quite sure the, the name of them are quite common on eBay and Amazon. And, you know, they might be uh, good enough for you. But I know that um, I'm certainly not going to uh, need to buy another one. You know, it's the kind of the, the buy ones, cry ones um, type of scenario. So I'm going to put it away in its new case here. Um, until I need it the next time. Okay, folks, if you've liked that, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until the next time.